what is thread synchronization in java what is the requirement for synchronization of any particular thread in java programming hello everyone i'm sukanya from go to hub technology and in this video we are going to discuss about thread synchronization now synchronization in java is a capability to control the access of multiple threads to any shared resource that means if multiple number of threads are sharing a particular resource then synchronization is a capability to control their access to that particular resource if we declared any method as synchronized it is known as synchronized method that means synchronized keyword is used to declare the particular method as synchronized synchronized method is used to lock an object for any shared resource when a thread invokes a synchronized method it automatically acquires the lock for that object and releases it when the thread completes it task so here you can see a program code that a class demo is created and then a particular synchronized keyword is used for print table method having a parameter int n a for loop is been executed and then a try block is thread dot sleep 400 the time is given exception if caught then system dot out print ln if any exception is there now another class is created my thread extends thread class demo that particular class we have created an object of demo d is made over here and then this keyword or this pointer is used for that and similarly void run method is used for table 2 and then class my thread 2 is also created it is also extending thread class again the object of that particular class is created using this pointer is used and then run is made with the d dot print table 3 that means it is going to show you firstly the odd numbers in this even numbers in the synchronization and then the odd numbers particularly so now what you can see here is that 2 4 6 8 10 and then after that 3 6 9 12 and 15 these are actually table 2 and table 3 as we have written here print table 2 and similarly for here thread 2 we have written print table 3 now one class is created and the demo object is new object is made similarly my thread t1 is a new thread object made and similarly for my thread 2 t2 is a new object made and then t1 is firstly started that means table of 2 and then table of 3 is started and then a synchronization is maintained because they are sharing a same object of the demo d object of firstly created demo class so let us execute this program and see the working of it with the help of thread synchronization so here you can see that i have written the program here and i have saved my program as pr1.java and i have given the two tables of print table 2 and print table 3 and up till when the for loop which i have mentioned that less than equals to 5 and then it is mentioned so firstly i have to compile this dot java file and for that we use the syntax p javac the name of program dot java file so when i do that if there are any errors then it will be displayed but there are no errors so now you can run the class file and the class file is demo1 so when i execute the class file now you can see that the printing of table is happening one by one and then it ends that means the resource is free this is how thread synchronization work firstly the table of 2 is printed less than equals to 5 of the for loop and then similarly for table of 3 is print so this is how thread synchronization work in java programming it is important because resources need to be released after the thread task is completed for more concepts of java and programs of java we will look into upcoming videos thank you